I did do this weed a little early. What's this? What's this game? What is this? Ancient tomb? Map? Four hearts? Three and a quarter? If even one of these has a heart. Oh my goodness, that is welcome. Oh, I think I remember this dungeon. I forgot about this one. I literally had no memories involved with this dungeon. This is a cool dungeon. Well, there is nothing in this room. I think I remember what to do, but I'm gonna activate the L statue anyway. Things a bumbleable wall. Open your ears to the sound of a sword against the wall. Imagine being a deaf guy. That'd probably suck, being deaf. I thought it was there. That's a really cruel place to put it. This dungeon is really cruel in general. This this dungeon pushes the difficulty up to 11. Yo, the Master Sword is powerful. Also, this is the dungeon with the Nintendo boss. Yo, Meatwad. What up? We haven't played in a while. We should play. Ah, goddammit. I asked some of my workmates if they could, um... Cover for me. But then I found out I didn't even have the free time myself. It'd be cool if I could just push this infinitely. Um... Okay. Okay. Four things to activate at the same time. I wonder when the heavy lifting will come in. Bitch! You're the bitch. Any big heavy things in here? I remember this dungeon actually being a nightmare. Genies. Only two swings with the Master Sword. Huh. I don't know if I want to go down here. I did, in fact, want to go down there. Well, excuse me, princess. That was really hard to find. This is, in fact, ages. Yes. I was just kind of hoping there would be some item over there. Can't do anything with this. Wait, I actually can't do anything with this. Like, what the fuck? Where do I go? This doesn't lead anywhere, right? How am I already out of options? Look, there's gotta be a trick to this. Aha! I have the key this time. I've been fooling around a little bit with Laura Tech. I don't want to say it because it'll ruin the surprise. I've been fooling around with some option selects with command grab. It's kind of a bitch for Laura. She can't cancel into her command grab and I really wish she could. Because there's a lot of cool OS's you can do with that. I don't want to hit that yet. You can cancel into her super which is a command grab but you can't cancel into her normal command grab. It's because of the way they they designed her EX command grab it would be really strong if you could cancel into it. I wish they hadn't designed it like that, so I wouldn't have to, that to worry about. You know what I mean? Can I hit that with a... I wonder if I can bomb chew that and like get some kind of... Some kind of a bug going. It's a shame you can't blow up the Cane of Samaria things before. Or anymore. Alright, there's a bobble wall.
OS, yeah. That's what I've been fooling around with. You know about it. Uh, that looks like a exit only. There's a chest up there that I can't get. This room looks cool. I'm gonna attempt to go through it. Wish I had some fucking Pegasus boots! I don't have the fur ring. That would actually let me skip that, I think. What a curious thing. I wonder how much I'm really skipping if I skip that, though. But, like, that would work, Kihara. Interesting thought. I would be able to throw a bomb far enough. What would I get? I would get that chest. I don't know what that chest is. I think I can just get that chest like this. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. But that would actually work. I wonder if there's any place where you can use... I think they'd probably design that ring... I mean, yeah, so that you couldn't do shit like that. I think I have a huge ring, don't I? Yeah, I could... I could. I never got the first wing, ring upgrade. I probably should have had that by now. I should really leave that on. Because I can't do anything over here, right? I'm done with all this. This just led to the key and nothing else, didn't it? Nothing I can do. Yeah, let's hit this button. My rupees are bolt burning a hole in my pocket, dude. I can't handle this. Oh, I could have gone up there. And in fact, that's probably a good idea. It's probably where I want to be. Let's take a quick look at what we can do with this changed uh, ground. That's a key being held by a skeleton. That's a reference to the original Zelda. Selfos can't hold uh, keys in any other Zelda game except the first one. And I guess this one. Am I the only one who can't stand um, KF13 Rio? I guess that helps me. Or I can get a meaty even if they do tech command grab for what it's worth, but it's not a great meaty. It's not like a meaty that changes the entire game. But salvage tech is helpful. I can go here now, but I won't be able to go here later until I get the dungeon item. This might mean something. This is a very cruel picking up rupees. Very cruel dungeon design. Gotta jump across that. Which means the reds need to... Okay, okay, okay. I get this. Yeah. So I can hit this, and then I can get on it while it's raised, and then I can jump. Like, like I can. It's there's a second level. But what did that do for me? Oh wait, that's this is what that did for me. I have no idea where I'm going. Wait, what did that do for? Oh, I have access to this now. Gibdos, or something. Not quite sure what they are. Curious what's below these bombs. And a whole lot of them. A boss? This early? What are you? Oh, he's um Phantom Ganon, basically. That was an easy boss. I figured him out almost immediately. I didn't remember that or anything, I just literally just figured it out. His robes. That I one shot. Master Sword is pretty OP. Statues I can't pick up. More whiz robes.
What channel is that? <laughs> is that just a real Twitch emote? This is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Where am I? Oh, I came here, like, very briefly to get that one chest. I can switch hook over there. But let's avoid that for the time being. I think you can't light these. Oh, I just remembered this whole shit. I have no idea where I'm going. How do I get over there? Gotta take a... a lift some... Oh, motherfucker. Alright, let's do this. You only live once. Ugh, dodged into the way. Gah. Hell of a room right there. The sword theoretically does 2.5 times the damage of my initial sword. My mermaid suit. What we got, what we got. Where the hell am I? What did I just do? It made a sound. I opened the door. Alright. Alright. What we got? I cannot use this. <laughs> Maybe I can fire... Fuck. Maybe I can fire them. Okay, you can fire them underwater. That literally doesn't help. This is gonna be a mess. Hmm. This long walk of shame between each attempt. I feel like I'm playing strong, bad, shitty game. Oh fuck. Secret collect. God damn it. Am I gonna die here? Look. God damn it. Just reading the chat. I don't even know how I fell into that one too low. Look, why are these turns so hard? I have, I've got fucking eight hits and I'm dead. It'd be a really inconvenient place to die. Well, I just fought the boss. Wouldn't be that bad. <gasps> My momentum. I need to only go up and sideways. Let's not save stay here. That'd be cheap. We're better than this. I think we're in there. Uh, here looks like the most convenient place to cross. The hell of a room. Down. Oh, motherfucker, I don't want choices. I did want that choice. That was a good choice. Should have tried killing those wizards. They're fairly easy to kill without taking damage, and they might have had hearts. We got one. The slate. It's not a Zelda game if there isn't incessant beeping. You guys ever have Pepperidge Farm Milano? They're tasty. I got the double chocolate ones. Because I'm a fat shit. Charge and op optional. God damn it. 
It's up for the warp, right? I'm pretty sure I'd left it like right there. Let's get some parts. Oh my god, that is welcome. Same exact one. I'm still not really sure what Mario was supposed to be saying there. I think it's so long A Bowser. But like that still sounds really weird. The music in in black and white when you have low health is actually super tight. I love it. So I think I want to go left because I didn't go that way earlier, but I could have. Well, we got a lot of ways to go, don't we? We go up there, but I'd rather go down here. I can go down and then left again. Looks like we can't do that. I left this room almost immediately without realizing there was nothing to do here. Not yet, anyway. I wonder what the dungeon item will be. The actual best music, I mean, not the best music, the actual best, um... Uh, Pepperidge Farm is the, uh... Geneva. I could break this. I just unlocked two paths. Actually, I want to go this way. Supplies? Oh, okay, there's another path. Ooh, this is different. Deadly. Yes, feels too recent. I wouldn't like a, a remake of Gen 4. Not yet. Slate that easily? Ancient words are written on it. Oh, and now I'm here. Oh wait, I have no idea where I am. I'm here though. Okay. Where's this? I got to the end of this one for free. Glad I did it first. That was a good order to do. Alright, hopefully there'll be a slate over here somewhere. Oh, I'm up here! I don't want to be up here. Fuck. There's nothing for me up there. How many slates are we at? No. Oh, God damn it! I think I did want to be up there. Might have been able to take one of those roundabout things the other way. Or maybe that's what's up here. They're trying to get me. This is probably one of my favorite dungeons, honestly. This dungeon's fun without being cryptic or difficult. Not really difficult. Because it is difficult. There we go. My key. I could really use a key. Must be there. A fanfic between Gutex and Mike Ross. Well, I get a fanfic. A three-way between me, plump, and dime. Uh. So I got three slates now, right? And I pretty much cleared out most of this crap. Still don't have the dungeon item. I finished a lot of the dungeon. I don't know how much is really going to be left once I confirm my three slates. Doesn't say. Slate times three. Still missing a heart piece. It's my crowning achievement and no one else cares. I actually am the umpire. Me and a sloth would be just fine. I 
Hashtag gotta go fast. Alright, so let's go up here and see what the hell we can do. It could be that the colors are not what they're normally. That could help too. I like don't remember Gen 4. I need to replay it because the only time I played it was when it came out, which was when I was in freshman year of high school. Um, I seem to recall that it was very comfy. I'm getting hosted. And I just want to play a comfy game. So this is the way I never went earlier. So this is exactly where I was hoping to go. It didn't do anything. In fact, am I trapped up here? Like, what the fuck? How do I get down? There must be another place to switch hook. That's the only thing that makes sense. Like across here? Yeah, I just couldn't see it. I think there must be another direction to go on one of these. In fact, I think I just found it. Thank you for the kind host and both viewers. Just so whoever viewers are in DW Skilton's chat. Oh wait, that wasn't even a host. Well, it was a host. That's a sub too! Wait, I missed it! Fuck! Nice! I got a sub and a host. I'm unstoppable right now. Okay, I'm not where I need to be. I reversed that direction on the other one. I think that's something I wanted to do. I think I need to go to the top. Okay, I think I got I think I got this. I think we need to go up there. That's not the way I get up there though. I think I need to hit the top of this one. I need to fall down onto it. And I don't mean down like like actually down. Yeah. Well it's orange. It needs to be orange. I think I understand. I need to hit this thing so it's the right color. It's fucking guineas. Laura has salvages. Laura gets an Oki no matter what. Okay? Just so we're clear. Laura literally always has an Oki. You cannot deny Laura's Oki. She has... If you back tech, if you fucking up tech... Most of her shit you can't even back tech at all. But if you quick stand or if you don't, she can still get first frame meaties. Or even like deep meaties. Like uh, stand strong and shit. She's literally guaranteed. Alright, now I think I'm starting to understand. Now I can do this. And this will take me to the other one from above. I think I got this. I think I, I nailed it. Yeah, we're in there. Because now I'm going to the right. Snag. Neg. What did we get? Where's the secret? What the hell did I get? This is a locked door. Probably opened the door I came in through. <sighs> Let's kill the fucking Moldorms. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, this one's not so big, but I'm guessing there's only one route through it. And it looks like it has to end here. So let's take left first. That was just wrong. However, this could be right. I don't like this. I fucked up. It's two dead ends. That's wrong too. This feels correct-ish. Now it's feeling really correct. Gotcha.
Haha. <laughs> yes! It has a different it has a different animation. Or not a different animation, but like a different a different icon. I appreciate that. Titan Mitt get. So I actually could have gotten this before any slates. I could have gotten this at any point. So what can I do with this now that I have it? I hate this item because it's event a problem, event a solution. It's like we have exactly the same item we had before, lifting things. But now we've invented bigger things to lift. It's like, wow, that didn't actually do anything. There should be some plenty of things to pick up. And we should be able to solve some problems now that we can pick things up. Find the lifty kind of things. Isn't there a lifty kind of thing over here somewhere? I can't even get through here. Not anymore. Save state so I can open my map. What we got? Directly below me. And then that whole bottom left corner. Directly below me, huh? But directly below me like a map below me. I do wish Honda was good. No, I hate Honda. I hate fighting Honda. Fuck Honda. Fuck you. The boss was down here, right? I think so. Honda more like Honda. Nah. Hand should have been a fucking button press. A motion. And then you should have had to mash to keep them going. You know what kind of disappoints me is you can't mash Chun-Li's lightning legs in Street Fighter V. I would like that. I think they should change it. Alright, so I can use the glove to get back down. Do I want to go up there? Yes. Yes, I do want to get up there. Wait, do I actually want to go up there? I saved state so I can just back and just back up. Honda has meme pressure. Alright, this just feels very wrong. Let's go this way. Back the fuck off? I could just open... No, I can't quite open that. I think I know where the last one is. I think it's in that bottom right section. I want to go back up here. I wish you pulled this faster if you had the fucking level 2. They could have designed that. Could have gone like twice as fast with exactly the same animation. It would have taken no effort. Hey guys, I just want to announce to everyone that um, Dragon Quest... Dragon Quest 7 uh, 3DS port just came out, or not just came out, but it, like is coming out uh, today. So if you have a heart and love Dragon Quest games and you haven't played that one, it's my personal favorite. I'm just saying. So I found the place. Why'd I jump down? I actually saved state, as though I was prepared to make a mistake. I don't know what this is, but it. If it's a ring, I'll be a little sad. Ugh. Ugh. I can put in all of my things now. Probably something under one of these. That should do a lot of damage if you throw it. But it doesn't. Alright, cool. Alright, we got an item in this room. This is still a really cool dungeon! There's the boss key, the boss door. Oh. This is actually correct. Why is this dungeon tight?
Aw, oh, motherfucker. Can I just wait here? <laughs> cool. I got a seed. I remember when reversals were a skill. For some reason I didn't see that as being able to move up like that. Lord, that's like something that would have happened in Link's Awakening. Who's this guy? That was like fairly easy. This must be the final site. Alright, so I'm still missing the boss key. But I've gotten all of the, um... Things in this dungeon. There's nothing else I could do down there, right? I gotta double check. Save state. Um, I might be able to go up there. I can go up there. <laughs> Easy to miss. I mean, it made the noise. It made the noise for the boss key! It was only one temple where it didn't make the noise for a boss key. It must be a bug. Alright, let's put on all these slates. You can put it in the slates as you get them. I miss steerable jump normals. Bring those back. Alright, we got another 2D section. I think we're rearing up on the last boss. And I think he's a doozy. I think he's uh, the puzzle boss to end all puzzle bosses. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. I've got to figure out four things really quickly. Where the fuck are my gloves? Yep, this is the puzzle boss. This is the Nintendo boss. You can tell he's a Nintendo boss because he's a head and hands. Alright, I think this time I just hit them back at him. Fuck. God damn it. Like that. I got him. Good lord. That's kind of hard. fast. Got him. Form one down. I need to lose less than four health per form. Fuck. Let's avoid that. Now, what do I do here? Make him grab a bomb. I think. Make him crush something and make that thing destructive. God damn it. But if you touch him, he's harmful. Why'd that work? Why am I losing so much health? This is a very cool boss, though. I just need to get him above me, which he doesn't want to go. And then just get him to grab a bomb. God damn it. That worked. Ah, it exploded before it landed so it didn't count. I grabbed it too early. Got him. Magnets! I think you seed shoot him this time. I could be wrong. Do I bounce that back at him or something? Sheed shooting him was correct. This boss is the fucking... This is the king puzzle boss. Alright. Let's do this. 
Alright. I can already tell what we do here. I think we grab the other one. Release. And then we can get him into an infinite loop. Mm, damn it, I was too slow and I knew he was gonna shoot me. Grab. Grab. Beat him. That was cool, that was a cool boss. I remember liking that guy. We got bombs. Final Essence of Time. It's a fucking shooting star. for you no matter how long 400 years you say alright so there should be a secret down here fuck that only did that didn't do that much this is oracle of ages alright if there's nothing under here I'll be blown away god damn really Oh, okay. You got me, game. So I really want to come back here in the present, because I've never been in any of these maps in the present. Alright. Go ahead and try and use the Harp of Ages and see what the hell happens. Oh. That I was not expecting. Is this the final region? I thought the Black Tower was the final region. I'm on like graveyard panels. I'm probably supposed to manually leave here. I think this is going to be some event that happens. No? Oh shit, there's a secret here, isn't there? Is it like here? No, it's above. It's this one. Here's the secret shop. Oh, this is a bigger ring box. And there's the final heart piece! Good lord! Found it. Hell yeah. Did it. Oh, the fucking it keeps going. Alright, I stopped at like two, 290 some. I haven't died. Okay, it, su it successfully subtracted all the fucking rupees. I never went to the advanced shop yet. Fuck you. Uh, this is a complete map. And that's a complete map. Did it, boys! Did it. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme! Gimme! Yes. So this game is pretty much complete. I'm missing one um, heart piece, and I might be missing some secrets. Twin River.
Here I am. I stopped the eat. I mean, I didn't stop playing. Green Holy Ring. No damage from electricity. That's like things that are like... Uh, I'm getting all the trans... I wanted all the transformation ones because they're cool. Damage from small rocks. Blue Ring! Damage taken one half. That's the counterpart to the Red Ring. The Red Ring is in Seasons and the Blue Ring is in Ages. They're actually the two rings from... Uh, um... Ooh, I've gotten a decent number of rings now. I don't care about maple. Hmm. I have some neat rings. Our bag glass is probably pretty good. RPG. Can only equip one ring. Or two rings. I've got four of the five transformation rings. The fifth one is fucking insane. So I still have the Green Joy Ring, which is literally useless because there are no war, uh, war Chunks. Red Joy Ring might be alright. That's the GBI Time Ring as well, that's the one that's in this game. 1000 Beasts Slain. There's like a bunch of- these are all like, just like, achievement kind of rings. That one's kind of useful. Fist Ring! Alright, here's the fist ring. It's pretty tight. You put it on, then you take off all your shit, and you can punch. I think you need both hands free. Oh fuck, it's maple. If she doesn't have the UFO now, I don't know when she'll ever have it. Oh, she's got the UFO. Aw, oh, damn it. No. UFO Maple is the hardest. Where am I going exactly? I gotta go check on that tree. But I need to RNG manipulate to make sure that tree gives me the thing I want. I need to double check that I've gotten all the secrets. The tree is over here. Using RNG manipulation on that tree is actually gonna be really hard. The only way to get to that fuck, that tree. I wonder if losing health will affect RNG. There it is. There is my tree. There's the Maku nut. The, not Maku. Um, what is it called? The Gasha nut. Gasha seed? Gasha nut. Alright, let's see what we got in here. If it's a heart piece, I'll be happy. It's a ring. So let's try affecting the RNG by taking damage. That's unclear if that did anything. Mm. So I already know that I can affect RNG by killing enemies and picking up items. Ah, uh, looks like we're going to be making this trip a lot. I have to kill enemies. And get items. Alright, wait, let's try um, using items and see if that, that affects my RNG at all. We got a whole bunch of invisible numbers in this game, we might as well try and affect some. Oh. That didn't seem to do anything. I picked the seed that lasts the longest. appear to be doing anything. Alright, gotta kill enemies or get items or something. Where the hell does this go? 
Never got this one. I wonder if that affects my RNG. That's my way out. In Zora Village, there's something I can get right now. Need to not forget that. We're gonna make this trip a lot. This is a shitty trip, but we're gonna make it a lot. There's no other way. Believe me, if there's any other way, I would do it any other way. That's everyone. Everyone hates the the rareness of the how on, how fucking few characters there are. Nice, good swimming. The final grind. This is a randomized item based on what I pick up and who I kill. And I've got to make the walk to and from it repeatedly to check its item. Not from it, thankfully. Killing one enemy, killing both enemies. The shovel! Fuck. I forgot about that. I might be able to use the shovel to manipulate my RNG. The shovel counts as picking up items. It might only be killing enemies that affects the RNG for the Mechanut. But the other Maple can you can affect the RNG for her by picking up items. I forgot that I can just generate items in this game. Right, let's save really fast. Let's see what we got in here. It's a gosh and nut. Now let's try digging. A spider. I don't want a spider. Alright, that might have done something. I killed an enemy and got an item. This should theoretically be one of the gosh and nuts that can have a heart piece. The chances might be low. I save state button on right now, but I have it disabled. That could be it. Ah, oh, this shit isn't working with me. This is the one, the one heart piece I haven't gotten yet. It's the Gasha not heart piece. This is the most remote Gasha tree. I don't care what anyone says. This one is just a bitch to get to. It might be killing enemies, so I might need to dig up spiders. Getting the ring a whole lot. I wish I could just appraise the ring just to see... Oh wait, I can. Just to see whether the ring was changing. Because I'm more likely to get a ring than the heart piece. But it shouldn't be this rare. It could be that this isn't the right one. I don't know which one the right one is. I don't want to turn on the... I keep on thinking I'm nearly done. Alright, hold on. Let me get my fucking joy to key. So that I have my save state button. Is this the one? Yeah, okay. I'll dig around a little more. Let's check the ring. Let's see if the ring changes based on my item drops. Because the ring should be very random. You know I'm constantly getting rings. As long as the rings change, that'll give me an idea.
Pegasus Ring. Blue Holy Ring. No damage from Zora Fire. Those are both pretty cool. Alright, so this almost guaranteed will be a different ring. Unless I'm not successfully changing the RNG. And then I need to dig until I find a spider. Because killing enemies might affect my RNG. That one was already guaranteed. Blue Holy Ring, same item. So I'm not changing my random numbers. Which means I need to find a spider. And I need to see if the spider changes my RNG. And I need to kill enemies. If it does. You guys and your dumb conversations. That's the best kind of pain. It still sucks because it's still pain. But it's the best kind. Where are the spiders at? The spiders aren't super rare. Wow. We got Mexican. Where are they? My gosh, the nut is just pissing me off. Could be the spider doesn't change my RNG. If it doesn't, I should just go find the other. This is like the most remote location. Can we have nice things? I feel like I'm gonna dig up a hundred. Oh shit, a snake. That's perfect. Hmm, does that count? Probably not even 30 seconds from enemies. Let me just finish testing my theory. Oh, I changed it. Alright, cool. So now, the question is, if I killed the snake, will that always be... Like, if I... Is there any way to kill that snake and get a different ring? Alright, so killing enemies affects the RNG. But digging in various other things does not. If I kill him on a different frame, does it do shit? Okay! Killing him on different frames does do shit. So now we don't even need to repeatedly walk back to the thing. We just need to repeatedly kill him on different frames. Until it's a heart piece. Why is the snake being a dick? Okay. This fucking isn't doing anything. Let's get him down here. I'm getting different drops from the same snake, so... I expect that this is doing something. I don't even know if this is the right... Like, gosh, a tree. It seems like it would be. Because it's so remote. I'm getting different drops from the snake. They're probably different rings. And yet... I can't get a heart piece. Let's make sure this is none of the rings I got before.
Red Holy Ring. That's different. And I think this one can't be a heart piece. I'm getting that feeling because I've gotten I've gotten more than enough attempts that it should reasonably have been the the heart piece is like the most likely thing it can be. Or rather, it's more likely than any given ring. I didn't even walk away with a new one. All right, let's warp to Crescent Isle. Where is the Maku Tree here? It's in like some really stupid location. It's in the past, but it's also in some really stupid location. I gotta kill 40 enemies too. It might be there, but that's in the present. Somewhere on Crescent Island. There is a Maku Tree. Wait, can I do this? Is this something I can do? Oh, motherfucker. Something that requires the long shot. There's also the mayor's house I gotta do. Ring. It's not a secret. Actually, I really like Kojima. You're a fuck boy. People who say Kojima is overrated are fuck boys. Is there one here? Looks like no. There aren't that many big things to pick up anywhere. The only place in the entire level. It could be down there, but I doubt it. this. I mean, obviously I already did it, but like, I think there's nothing to do there. Um, I thought so. Do you not? Give me a list of the locations of heart pieces, because I gotta look at one. I'd appreciate it. I think there's a heart piece from uh, Gosha in both games. I can't even find the Gosha seat here anyway. I never played PT. I missed out. Missed my chance. I've looked like everywhere. Crescent Island in the past doesn't seem to have one. Crescent Island in the present does. I'm gonna check some Skype messages. Give me a sec. Mwah. Digging the dirt near the cliff. Okay. That's it. I'm like right there right now. Like one below me. I played the Fist of Mars and I thought it was cool. That's bullshit. Alright, so I can respawn these enemies super, super easily. God, that text is gonna appear every time, isn't it? Alright, so there's two Weavers here. I thought. I can kill that guy too. I can probably kill this guy depending on his spawn. No, I can just respawn them like this. And I should really easily be able to grind out that, um, yeah. That Gosha tree. I need 40 kills. I can probably get some kills just to the... Come here, you. Maybe some over here. Nope. Nope, nope. 
I don't hear you. Once it's half grown, it should like pop up. I think. Damn Octorok. It might make it a lot harder to kill enemies if it pops up. Hello? There you are. Seed is taking its time. Maybe it only pops up when it's mostly done. I thought it popped up. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that's going to make killing enemies more annoying. that guy to come down. Oh fuck, I could've got him there. This is slow goings, but um, this is guaranteed to have... This is guaranteed to be really fast respawn rates. I wonder if that counts. Oh, he's, he respawned, of course. And the seed is almost there. This is slow goings, but, you know. I still gotta double check. So I gotta make sure that um, I can even get a Macro Tree heart piece. Still gotta make sure I got all the secrets. Macro Tree, what the fuck? Again, I pushed him into the water. Huh. Huh. It feels like most of the real estate for this map is in the top. Yeah, they're never up there. Missing. You have to grow so many damn fucking gosha trees to fucking get this heart piece. God damn. Why isn't it still not grown? Hello. You should respawn. I need to be careful to avoid that because I'm not sure if that counts as a kill. Speed boosting through the text isn't actually faster unless I'm. I still have to scroll through all the text, which is the same number of button presses, and it already goes like as fast as possible as long as I'm just mashing. It like practically isn't. Oh, there we go. Much faster. It's a ring. So now we need to grind some RNG. That's still a ring. Two hundred rupees. That's different anyway. Definitively affecting the RNG. Two hundred rupees. A potion. Get over here, you. Fairy. We're getting weird prizes from this one. I wouldn't mind the potion. A ring. Do you need a ring? Get over here, you fuck boy. Fuck the puss. Got it! Eureka! 
We are full out on hearts. That's it. We're done. Done with hearts. So we haven't gotten all the rings, but I've still got another chance to show off what the last rings are. Take a break. Drink some sips. I'm going to find a list of all the secrets really fast so I can make sure I have all, all of them. Linked game secrets. Zelda Wiki is taking a really long time to ro load. There we go. Okay, I got the sword upgrade. I got the shield upgrade. Got the bomb capacity upgrade. I think I got the seed satchel upgrade. Got the ring box upgrade. I got the heart container. I got the bigger on sword. I got the bomb shoes. And I got the swimmer's ring. I got the heart ring level one. That's it. That's all of them. In the other game, you get sword upgrade, shield upgrade, bomb shoes. Most of these are the same. Seed satchel, ring box, heart container. Bigger on sword. Bomb capacity upgrade. The spin ring and the snowshoe ring. Let's take a look at both of these. Looks like we've done all the secrets. Snowshoe ring makes it so you don't slide around on icy floors, which is literally useless. The spin ring makes it so you spin twice when using the spin attack, which is kind of cool. I've gotten all the secrets. The really interesting secrets are the... Um, uh, Master Sword, and I guess the Bigger on Sword. Although I do think the Bomb Chews are pretty novel. I don't actually know how to get more Bomb Chews. What happens if you run out? Do you just need to talk to the guy who initially gave you Bomb Chews? There's an NPC who sells Bomb Chews? I, like, genuinely don't know. The secrets are just really cool. I still haven't done the Hero's Cave. I could do that. Ralph talking like he's gonna die. He probably will. Ralph is a descendant of Queen Ambi. He's gonna get ashed. He's gonna get psyched. Zelda's here. Syrup shop by the graveyard. Wow. Good info. Yeah, I gotta do the hero's cape still. I'll do that later. Black tower can now be climbed. You can go back and... Oh, they sealed off this path. Black tower is a pretty aggressively difficult, like, area. It's like a gauntlet. At first you got all these enemies. It's a lot harder than the other one. I can't believe how easy Onyx is, is compared to this one. This one's, like, pretty intensive. Ugh. I wanted to keep high health. You got a whole bunch of rooms with just dangerous enemies. This enemy shoots lasers and there's a ring that makes it so you take no damage from lasers, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I can't imagine someone trying to get all rings manually. Sounds really hard. Mwah. Yeah, you can just see the enemies are getting pretty intense. The blue guys were ever tougher, they're not tougher anymore too much damage. Sent seed, thank god. Thank the fucking lord. 
Got a scent seed. Give me a heart. There's three doors. You can come up here at any time, there's three doors. But they all take you, I think, to the bottom? I don't remember where they take you. I can't even test now, because you automatically use the seed. No, there's only one door, and it's the correct door. Oh shit, they're both lit. Sorrow and destruction burn brightly, only the flame of despair remains. See, this is what I'm talking about. This whole shit wasn't in the other version. And it's pretty intensive and fun. Cool. I want to know what that owl says, but I also don't care. glares at your back. I like looked away. I think it's literally, it's not random, but I think it's just one of these and you just have to try until you get it. I just remembered. That was 100% muscle memory. All of them take you to these two. That was whack. I just did it on my first try. Away. These guys are gay. These guys aren't too easy either. Baron is a three stage puzzle boss, but she's not that bad. Let's go ahead and save the game. I'm gonna do it without the red ring. I've been doing it all this way up to the re without the red ring. It'll be really fast with the red ring. This fucking level three sword. This is already this is this is a harder boss than Onyx in my opinion. I don't know, it's hard to say. This is the body of Ambies. If you slay me, you'll vanish from this world. To protect the people of this age to protect Nehru. Ralph A shit. We've done this shit. Come on. Alright, we know exactly how this shit works. I came prepared. Oh yeah, she tends to teleport a lot. I like this bitch just theming. Do something else. Just kill these damn things. There sure are a lot of them. Gone, um... There we go. Alright, let's get some more forms going. Caught a bad dream. Let's 
do this Varen. So there's four Shadow Links, and I think they have a fuck ton of health, so it's not really worth trying to kill them. And Varen herself has a fuck ton of health, but not a really difficult pattern. And fortunately, a spin attack with the level 3 sword is pretty strong. <laughs> that was pretty fast, even without the red ring. That would have been a joke with the red ring. The music still doesn't sound that good. Uh-oh. Ooh. I got floor mastered. Three forms. Get this out. She's got a bunch of different forms. Wow. Got a lot of damage. I remember how to hurt this one. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't hurt this one. Is it the butt? Do I hit the abdomen? That did a lot of fucking damage. Okay, I probably need to shoot it with something, because there's an ammo thing in the center, so, you know. I didn't do anything. Do I hit the... the... Oh, I was pretty sure about that one. Let's try bombs. Okay, I did something. Good lord, a heart per hit. Right, we got a difficult last boss going. I don't even think this is the hard form. Took a ton of damage trying to figure out what your weak points were. And we got this again. She has three different forms. I think, it I think she takes them randomly. So if I can avoid certain forms, I might have a really easy time. Wow. This one looks pretty easy to fuck. Take it all back. I was about to say, pretty easy to fight without taking damage. And now I feel silly for even suggesting that. That's my first game over. I got worked. Let's try that again. It's annoying that she does this. This is a hard fight. I expect no less. Alright, round one is download. Right? Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'd like to... I'd like the heart. Alright. Round one. I didn't lose any health. This should be more than enough hearts. We got a level three sword and I've got a fuck ton of hearts. Come on, how can I do how can I not do this? Wow. Let's jump over these. That didn't work. Fuck. Ah, that one. Hard each time. A hard each time. Her true form is an ugly turtle. I got three hits there. 
<laughs> Fuck. I should transform right now. Right now? The bee! The bee does a fuck ton of damage and it's very hard to avoid. I don't even know how to begin avoiding it. Got the feather out. God. Fuck. Oh, I won. <laughs> I got a lot of hits really quickly while she was a bee. Evil King Ganon will plunge the world into chaos. I don't remember what her third form is. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't see all three. Hey. The game is kind of beaten, except we're in a linked mode. So we're not quite done. Oh. Rabbits are dumb. It's like real life. Oh shit, Link game only. Link game only. We just saw that boy playing around with his family and it's like, oh surprise. This is still more Zelda than Link's Awakening, which literally had one one name drop of Zelda and no appearances, which is even less than Majora's Mask. All three. That seems to imply that she was sacrificed. Is she dead? Now, does it? Din! Nehru! What about Furore? How about the Oracle of Secrets? Um. Please tell me I can leave. Alright, it's just there. <laughs> the portal's just there. Alright, let's do the Hero's Cave, because the Hero's Cave is tight as fuck. I'm actually going to make a separate save state here, because the Hero's Cave, like,